Hey everyone, this is Alan from BMW Durham, back again with another video. I've got a special presentation. Uh, this is the 2023 pre-production i7 xDrive 60 in two-tone oxide gray and tanzanite blue. This car is crazy. <laughs> All right, so this is the 2023 BMW i7 xDrive 60. So let me just unlock it for you so that we can see this welcoming dazzle of the Swarovski crystal headlights. So that is the new design. We've also got this illuminated kidney grille. We've got the eye badging up there on the front there. And we've also got uh, the design excellence on this one. So this is different than the M Sport. So there's a lot of chrome going on here, chrome kidney grille surround. Uh, we've also got chrome just at the bottom here. Now, I'm pretty confident that this thing right here is the radar, and there's your front camera, and just like the iX, we have a little washer nozzle that comes out of there, and unlike the iX, this is just a BMW Rondel with the blue surround. Uh, we'll take a look underneath the hood afterwards, but before we dive into this vehicle, I'm just going to walk around it once so you guys can see it. Let me just get the lights back on here. I'm gonna have to step pretty far away because this thing is massive. Like we're in Rolls Royce size. <laughs> it's still a little bit smaller than, uh, than a Phantom, but take a look at this crazy looking car. I love that little design on the side there that matches the design on the the window there as well, that looks really cool. First time we're seeing a two-tone paint available with BMW, so that's also something that's cool. X-Drive 60, there's no why, because this is a full electric, and that's also why there's no exhaust. And you'll notice these ones have the horizontal reflectors. Later on when I do a video on the one with M Sport, you'll see the difference in design there. We've also got these chrome pieces. We don't have a spoiler here because this is not the M Sport. And let me just go walk all the way around. So another really cool thing is, let me just lock it and unlock it again. So the welcome light carpet in this vehicle is slightly animated as well, which is really cool. Different than all the other welcome light carpets. And overall, this car is pretty crazy. All right, so we know we've got the crystal headlights. Uh, they don't all come like that. That's what the LED headlights would look like. And down here, we've got the LED low beams and such. So those are your actual lights. Uh, so this is really cool. And then we have over here, the 21 inch 910i wheels. And uh, this is gunmetal with burnished, uh, a burnished finish. We've got that chrome strip that goes all the way along the entire rocker panel. And you'll also notice there's a series of sensors down there as well. This is what the side mirror will look like with the turn signal integrated as well as the surround view camera. And we've got the iX style door handles here, which is really cool. And let's start off by taking a look at the trunk area. So just at the back of the vehicle, i7 xDrive 60. We've got the blue accent around there. Now there is a button here I can press, but I'm gonna just kick my foot underneath the vehicle. This is pre-prod, and I think we're low battery because people have been playing with these all day. So take a look at the space inside of here. And uh, later on when I show you the 760i, you'll notice that the 760i has a little bit more space back here. Now the grocery bag hangers are now integrated right into uh, the places where these two pieces will go into so they don't crush anything in your trunk. And of course we have the button here to close, another button to close and lock. Uh, overall, really cool. The seats uh, do not fold down in the back and you'll see why later on when I show you the back seating area, but there's a center pass through. And if I lift this portion up, uh, there's the front plate bracket. And in actuality, uh, that's quite a big space down here, which is cool. There is also a glow in the dark handle in here just in case you get stuck. Um, but you know what's interesting? I don't see any 12 volt plugs back here, which has been kind of the norm. And inside of here, tire inflator kit, tow hook, that's pretty cool. So let me just press this button and hopefully we can get this closed. Perfect. 
Now I'm going to approach from the rear passenger side. I'm going to press this button. And if I'm too close, it will stop. But if I walk out of the way, uh, it will, sometimes it opens a little bit more, but it stopped because it sensed me there. So that's really cool. And in the back here, we have a combination of merino leather, cashmere, and I believe this is called the Smoke Ash Merino Leather with exclusive content. So we've got these nice cashmere pillows. We've got merino leather all over here. Uh, we also have this, which is the exclusive content, which is a mix of cashmere and probably sustainable materials. And over here, so just take a look at all this stuff. So we've got power sunshades, of course. This is a 7 Series. We have a button here, which is just if you'd like to manually open the door. There's also an emergency release here because this is kind of like the IX button. We have unlock, lock, we have window, but this is cool. Um, once I get in the car, you'll be able to see this. So let me just sit down. And I'm just going to press this button here. And we'll have the door automatically close for me, which is awesome. Now, I'm inside of here, it's really dark. So this is what I see in front of me. This is how I lift up the accessory port. So that's the accessory port there with USB Type-C. Uh, we also have the ambient lighting coming underneath here. And that is the footrest just out here. I'm just not in the right position for this. And we've also got this shag carpet, very uh, Rolls Royce. But take a look at this. So we have Bowers & Wilkins Diamond Surround Sound System. Uh, this is <clears throat> now the newest, most powerful sound system we've ever had in a vehicle. So it is a 1,965 watt system with 36 speakers. This will detach your spine from your body. So here I can adjust my climate controls. So I'm a little bit uh, hot. So let me just turn that on. And it says function unavailable, swipe up. So one unfortunate thing is that this huge 31 inch 8k display 31.3 inch 8k display is on inactive right now uh, i think bmw canada sent us these cars with that not working but from here i can control the radio i can control what we're watching so there's a fire stick uh, we can put on netflix uh, amazon prime we can control the telephone we can control the display which is that thing up there we can control the modes from back here whoop timed out if i press seats so in the back here, I can adjust my seat from here. I can have memory buttons. I can recline. I can also turn on the rear seat massage, which is pretty awesome. So let me turn that on right now for the video. Uh, down here, I can uh, increase the massage intensity and the speed. And while I'm doing that, let me also turn on my... Oh, somebody's got the heated seat for me. That's why it's hot. Uh, I'm going to turn on the ventilated seat to very high. So for the rest of this video, it'll be nice and comfortable. Uh, we also have cup holders on the side, ambient lighting coming from the door handle, ambient lighting coming from this mysterious cutout panel which looks awesome. We have ambient lighting also coming from the Bowers & Wilkins uh, speakers. We have vents on the uh, B pillar, coat hanger, more Bowers & Wilkins uh, speakers up here. And uh, now let's look at what else is on the inside of the back here. So uh, we have lower anchors and tethers for children down here if I lift this up so inside of there there's all the stuff to make the TV work but it's not working uh, this is the part I lift down to get the center pass through and if I press so this is a wireless charger here it is working if I press that there's two cup holders here and I can lift this up if I want this out of the way to have a third passenger in the rear so there is actually space for a third passenger here and the headrest flips up here too as well which is really cool just up here right and then I'm gonna just put that back down so these are the new style vent controls so you just point at the direction you want and you'll see them up there as well once we get up there but we also have some vent controls down here as well a little storage space and on the other side so we have another 4k display command center all the other things on this side are pretty well the same and uh, also up here we've got some reading lights and some microphones in the back as well on the ceiling and we have a black Alcantara roof liner which is awesome but what I want to do while I'm back here so I'm just gonna go back to this command center hit the home hit blinds my massage is going really nice and I'm just gonna open up all the blinds so there's that going down the sunroof is opening it is a sky lounge sunroof so this is the new sky lounge so you can see I have green lights on as ambient lighting so I have green uh, sky lounge strips that's gonna look awesome at night and the rear sunshade also open so it really opens up the light in here which is 
pretty awesome. And then when I want to get out of the car, I can simply press this button. The door will automatically open and it definitely will not open if there's a vehicle in the way. So that is pretty awesome. All right, we're gonna enter from the passenger front door. So if I press this button, just like the one at the other side, if I move out of the way, it will open further. Uh, it will not hit me, which is pretty awesome. I tested it out. Now let me just open this a bit further. So take a look at this. Look at this beautiful pattern that we've got in here with the Bowers and Wilkins diamond surround sound. We have this new thing here called the interaction light bar that really, really, I, I love this thing. Uh, I thought it was kind of gimmicky the first time I saw it, but I think it's pretty awesome. Just like the iX, we've got the crystal controls for your uh, seat position, got memory buttons. Now, every time you see something that has three lines like that, that tells you there's a menu involved. So I press this on the screen there, we'll get a seating menu, right? Uh, down here we've got the manual button but over here is the button to automatically close the door uh, these things here are fan speed controls and down here this is the fan direction so this little slit here is actually a vent which is so cool we've also got two more vents just up at the front here there's a little controller for it and more uh, fan controls now look at this there's a button here for a glove box release which is really cool uh, this is what the wireless charger looks like up front We've got two cup holders up here that have these little doors here that we can press just like so, right? We've got the new style center console. So we've got the crystal shifter, crystal iPad or iDrive controller, and uh, we've got the crystal volume control. So this is much like the uh, center console in the iX. And if I press this inside of here, we'll see there are two USB Type-C charging ports as well as a 12 volt plug down here and some storage space. It is illuminated in there as well. And um, you know what? I'm going to press this button here. I'm gonna walk out of the way and the door will shut. Let me go to the driver's side next. All right, I'm going to the driver door. I'm gonna press this button. Watch out so it'll open up. Okay, perfect, I get in. Now I could set it to automatically close the door when I hit the brake, but I'm just gonna press this button right here and we'll have the door close. I like how it, uh, it flashes to let you know. So on the door here, this is the child safety locks, all four window controls. You have left and right side mirror, the adjustment and to fold the side mirrors in. You also have a trunk release over here. And there's also a button here that we can use to uh, open and close the sun shades, which is really cool. And we also have open the door and then there's a, a fail safe door release underneath as well. Now, if we look over here, look at this. So we have iDrive 8 with that beautiful curved display. And I want to show you a couple of cool things here. So first and foremost, if I click on sun blinds, uh, I can open or close them as I please right from the screen. This is really handy. And here's another cool thing. So I can click on open all doors and it will sense and it will open them all if it is safe to do so, right? Just like that. And then I can click close all doors right over here. And it will close them all. So that is also something we have not seen before on a BMW, which is really awesome. Uh, and then up here, we have the same type of camera that we saw in the iX. This is to drop down the screen, but it keeps on saying that there's obstacles detected. So either it's uh, the sensors are not working and it thinks there's an obstacle, or the eSIM is not there. Something is preventing that screen from dropping. And then there's also this, so that we can uh, go to an ambient light menu. So check this out. If I go to ambience, so compared to the iX, we actually have a totally different set of colors here. So uh, this one is called ivory. Take a look at that. And then we've got citrine. And then we've got gold. Ooh. And then we have lemon. And then we have emerald. We have turquoise. We have pearl. We have azure. Ocean. Indigo. Lavender. This might be one of my favorites. I'm biased towards purple since getting the M240. We have flamingo. We have papaya. We have coral, and we also have rose, which is awesome. 
So that is really cool. But I'm going to tell you my favorite one is if I go to my modes, which is down here, and if I click on sport, just like so. So it goes all red first, and then watch this. The M colors just come and swoop right in, and it looks awesome in here. That is my favorite ambient color. And actually, if you have it in sport mode, you're unable to change the ambient color uh, with the rear command centers, which is pretty cool. And also, let's take a look at what else we've got here. So everything that we see in other iDrive 8, that's all here. This is the new style steering wheel. Uh, I mean, it works great. This is still to adjust your settings for your view as well as your head up display, so that's really cool. Um, and also we have universal remote control up here. We also have this still, so uh, lights up, it just lights up a little bit differently than before. And as far as the sunroof, look at this. So the sunroof actually rolls from the front, which is not common. Usually it rolls up from the rear, so that's a little bit different than before. And also, since the sunroof doesn't actually open, if I press the tilt button, it just actually um, opens the back part because I guess the rear passenger is the one that takes precedence in this vehicle. So that's a little bit different as well. Now, a couple of other cool things that I've found on this vehicle. So uh, this is the first time we have uh, assisted driving plus. So assisted driving would mitigate the speed, the distance to the car in front of you. It would steer for you. If you signal, it'll change lanes. Uh, this goes the extra step of hands off the steering wheel as well. So this is the next step in terms of assisted driving. And down here, you can't see it, but there's actually underneath here a hood release. So let me see if I can show you where that is. Camera's not getting good view. It's still put two pull. One, two. So let me go over to the front of the vehicle now. You can still shut the doors manually if you wish. So let's see what's underneath here. So let me lift this up. Now, this is interesting. It has a huge engine cover that kind of looks like a manta ray or something, and it's not really even attached to anything. But again, this is pre-production. We have washer fluid way over here, and that's pretty much all you can do here. The latches are in the same type of fashion as they would be on the uh, other BMW hoods, so you'd close this the same way, send it down from about halfway. All right, so another, a couple of other interesting things about the i7. So it uses a 105.7 kilowatt hour battery, and it produces 536 horsepower, uh, 549 pounds of torque. It's zero to 60 time is 4.7 seconds. So uh, compared to the 760, with, which is uh, 4.2 seconds, this is a little bit slower, but I understand why it's got a little bit less torque and it is uh, close to 5,800 pounds, which is pretty heavy. We also have uh, active integral rear steering. So at low speeds, the, the rear wheels will turn opposite to the front wheels. And at high speeds, they'll turn the same direction. So that is also something really cool. Uh, overall, this is a crazy vehicle. And at full charge, it has about 498 kilometers range. Obviously, you can get a little bit better. Or if it's cold, you can get a little bit worse. And with your ability to recuperate while driving, that'll also change figures. All right, so uh, another interesting thing is that this two-tone paint costs $13,000 Canadian. So you have the ability to choose oxide gray or black sapphire as the top color. Uh, the bottom of this one is tanzanite blue. Uh, there's a number of different choices you can choose uh, with the top color, such as uh, if you do black, you could also choose uh, tanzanite, aventrine red, uh, drive gray, a um, whole bunch of different choices. So that's really awesome. And also just wanted to mention that uh, this is the first time we're seeing a 7 Series. This is a 7th generation G70 body style. Uh, but this is the first time we're seeing this vehicle full electric. So it's pretty exciting. Uh, I really like this car. You guys let me know what you guys think. All right, everyone, so that was my tour of this beautiful 2023 BMW i7 xDrive 60 uh, in two-tone oxide gray, tanzanite blue. You guys let me know what you think. If you like the video, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching.